How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be working on my wife's daily driver, the Suzuki SX4, because I think it is time uh, for a new daily driver for her. So uh, we are probably going to be trading in the Suzuki. So my plan today is to try and get it back to as close to stock as possible. Uh, so I've got a couple things I have to do. Um, big thing I have to do is remove the tine lowering springs and put it back to the factory height. Uh, something else I have to do is remove the aftermarket head unit and put the stock one back in. Um, there's a few other things. I know I got some stickers on the car that I'm going to take off. Um, I also installed an aftermarket battery charger uh, a while ago. Uh, so uh, over the winter the battery kept dying so we put this onboard charger in there. So I'm going to take that off of there and uh, just a couple miscellaneous other things. So uh, let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna start tearing into this thing. Uh, probably start with the interior and then uh, I'm gonna save the lowering springs for last. So let's get started. All right guys, so this is the aftermarket head unit that I will be uh, replacing with the factory one. Uh, so it is a JVC double din, uh, has all the goodies on it. We actually got this one out of one of our old parts cars a few years ago and uh, it's still working to this day. Um, but uh, I noticed in the winter time that uh, every time we would hit a bump, um, the shock would reset the thing every time. So it was kind of annoying uh, having it reset all the time, but uh, still it has auxiliary and Bluetooth, which is a lot more than what this one has. Uh, so it was definitely an upgrade. Um, only problem with it is uh, we could not use any of the steering wheel controls uh, for volume or any of that stuff because it would not hook up. Uh, so. We're gonna go back to stock. We're gonna take this out of here, possibly use this in another project in the future because it does still work. Uh, and then we'll go back to stock. I'm guessing I probably forgot some CDs in here too. So uh, once it's hooked up, we're gonna see if we can get those CDs out of there. So to remove this is pretty straightforward. You just got these two panels on the side, uh, trim pieces, they just pop right off. And then there'll be screws in behind there. So I'm gonna get to popping those off get this out of here and put the stock one back. All right guys, so I basically got all the little stuff done on the Suzuki, uh, getting it as close to stock as I can. Um, now I'm gonna move on to uh, putting the factory coil springs back on it. Uh, so I do have a set of Tyne lowering springs on it right now that drops it about one and a half inches. Uh, so I wanna take those off of there. And then uh, when we trade in the car, I want it to have the factory suspension. So uh, I'm gonna get into that pretty soon. Um, we actually have an appointment this afternoon uh, to get the car appraised so uh, we can see kind of what the trade-in value is going to be on it. So uh, I'm running out of time in the day. I got to get cracking on this. So uh, let's get started.
All right, guys, so I have been trying to record an outro for this video for a while now. It seemed like every time I would get out here to record, there would either be construction going on right in front of my house, or my neighbor would be cutting his grass, making a lot of background noise, like seriously. I think that guy cuts his grass every single day. Everything went smoothly and installed on the Suzuki, got everything tightened up. Uh, we made it to the dealership for our appointment and uh, they appraised the Suzuki almost right away. So they made us a pretty decent offer on the car, uh, got more for it than I thought we were going to. Uh, so uh, basically what they said is we could trade in the car right away and uh, drive the new one home that day. Uh, so we ended up going that route and uh, we brought home a 2013 Honda Fit for my wife. Uh, so that is what she's driving now as a daily driver. And uh, I think this vehicle is gonna be a lot more reliable and uh, it's gonna be a lot easier to find parts for it if something breaks on it. So uh, she's loving it so far. Uh, we've had it for a few weeks now and uh, everything's been going really good with it. The only real problem is that it's such a plain looking car that it uh, basically looks like every other car in a parking lot. So uh, she kind of wants me to uh, make it stand out a little more. So that means I'm gonna have to do some custom work to it. So uh, we're definitely gonna either put some stickers on it or change up the wheels or I don't know, we're gonna figure something out to make this thing a bit more unique. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that. There are plans coming for the fit. So yeah, that's basically gonna wrap up this video for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, coming along for the ride. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Definitely hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. And uh, drop us a comment too. Let us know what you think. Uh, if we made a good decision or a bad decision. Um, I think it was a good decision so far. Definitely a reliable car and uh, hopefully it'll last a long time. So uh, we'll see you next time.